Hello and welcome to the second in the series of Pramix Discovery 20 video tutorials. My name is Malcolm and this tutorial is about pedestrian crossings. So to demonstrate this new feature we've got a model. We can see the network built there in Pramix Discovery and the aerial image on top. I'm going to zoom in to the part of the model we're interested in where we've got a pedestrian crossing leading into a school. Let's right click on the node and go to edit signals and let's see the signal control that's currently on this junction. So we've got a fixed time signal control with 45 second stage for the traffic and 15 second stage for the pedestrians. So a total cycle length of 60 seconds. Now if I go to the visualize tab and watch this in action, what we're expecting here is that the pedestrian crossing is activated once every minute and in a very regular fashion. So it's always going to come at the end of the minute. So if I have a look at when the pedestrian crossing is activated, it's 48 seconds past the uh, minute and then uh, the traffic goes again once we get to one minute past eight. Okay, now the pedestrian crossing feature is about being able to uh, randomize that. So to do that, first of all, I need to delete the signals that are on the junction. So I'll right click and delete that save and I'll do a revert to reload the model. Now if I right click on the node and go to edit pedestrian crossings I see a new dialog called pedestrian crossing and the first thing I want to do in here is set a time frame and you can set as many time frames as you want to vary uh, the the details of the crossing uh, by time of day. So we're just going to use one in this case and we'll set it from 8 to 9. I can then set a pedestrian crossing duration, minimum and maximum, and an activation interval, minimum and maximum. So I'll go through setting those. And what Pramix Discovery does is it chooses a random value between the minimums and maximums that we set. So for the duration, I've set 10 and 15. And so it's going to choose a random value between those. For the activation interval, I'll choose 30 and 60. And it will choose a random number between those. So what I've done here compared with what we previously had is I've brought some variation into the crossing duration and I've brought some variation to, into the frequency of activation uh, and I've also increased uh, the, the number of times per minute that it's going to be called because I set a minimum of 30 seconds. So we can see the first one's already called there after 27 seconds past the minute and we're off again. So we'll just run it for a few minutes and just get a feel for how often it's called and the types of, of gaps. There we've got a call again. I think that was about 50 seconds after the previous one. And there's another one, and that was maybe 42 or 43 seconds after the previous one. So it's uh, choosing these random numbers uh, between the minimums and maximums that we set each time. Okay, that's uh, Randomized Pedestrian Crossings in Pramix Discovery 20. It's coming in June this year, and you'll be able to download it free from our website then. Thanks for watching.